And welcome back to another edition of Trial by Fire, where this video is going to be probably a little bit longer than some, because I'm having to do it in segments. So, what am I doing in this one? Well, KD, craft Dinner, or Mac and Cheese, depending on where you're from, it's KD here in Canada, uh, has come out with limited edition flavor boost packages. As you can see on here, we have cotton candy. Butter chicken, which are the two I'm going to be trying tonight. In this first segment of the video, we got buffalo wings and poutine. They'll be the next ones I'm putting together. And then we have jalapeno. And the only one that you have to order online that you cannot buy in the store ghost pepper. So you will have. So you, you see, you actually buy the ghost pepper in a multi-pack, or you can buy it in a four-pack, which comes with four boxes of KD, and this wonderful t-shirt saying, I survived, which it's not, I can't see it being too spicy, so kind of gathering I'm going to. Who knows? Never know. But what I'm going to do is I'm cooking up a box. And I'm going to split it in half and do a full package of each flavor into them. Obviously, they're going to be a little stronger in the flavor than what's recommended in a normal usage. But i got to give them a try. We'll see where it goes from there. And if you've been paying attention to my videos, you'll know that this is my 50th video. And as promised, if I've reached 100 subscribers by the end of this video being up for, eh, let's say, two days. If I reach 100 subscribers, I'll randomly pick one and contact them and send them one of those t-shirts and a couple packages of whichever they choose that they want to try if they're not available to get them. So keep that in mind and I'll be back in a moment with one of KD to try. And I'm back with the KD. Now, for those of you who are watching elsewhere, um, I've seen a lot of videos where people compared Canadian KD to American Kraft mac macaroni and cheese. Differences are the way we, they're made and the noodles. We have more of a street noodle where the American one still uses elbow macaroni. Uh, I believe we used to have elbow a long time ago and they, got, they changed it up. But the difference is we use a third of a cup of milk. They use a full cup of milk. We use one tablespoon of butter or margarine. They use four. So there's a difference in the taste and texture, creaminess of the cheese and that. Our cheese, or if you want to call it cheese, uh, additive is a lot more fluorescent orange than theirs. Um, but it is what it is and just kind of give it an if you're looking at the noodles, wondering why they look a little different. So here goes. <clears throat> it literally smells like a package of Kool Aid. If you haven't had Kool Aid, more that's just sugar powder that you add to your water, but I'm adding the whole package to half a pack. As you can see, there's a wonderful pink cloud of smoke building up around me. And put that so you can see it. Mix this in. Now, I have seen some videos recently where people are actually posting their tries on some of these and with mixed results or reviews, I should say. But Canada seems to have the, between us and the US, we consume more KD per person per year than the US by about 55%. We seem to really love our KD up here. I've always been a fan of it ever since I was a kid. Continue to eat it as an adult. Probably not the healthiest thing in the world to eat, but hey, you eat what you enjoy, right? And my plate is literally being dyed pink here. So that will definitely be needing a good washing. If I get this all mixed up here.
Now, when you make these, you make them just like you normally would. You add your cheese, your milk, your butter, margarine, whichever you prefer to use. And then you add the flavor boost afterwards. Now, we'll post up in here a picture of the uh, ingredient, like the back of the packaging, so you can see what's all in it. As you can see, it's definitely pink. It's kind of a dark purplish almost not really like a cotton candy pink but it's got uh, no real smell and the difference between that and regular KDE but here it goes mm. <coughs> fork full of uh, powder let me get rid of that mm. okay And let's try this without the fork full of powder. Not too bad. It's definitely doesn't taste like cotton candy. It's got a sweetness to it, but it's more. Well, to be honest, I'm not even sure what I would compare it to, but that's definitely not cotton candy. I believe it was actually available in the US at one point for a contest for Valentine's Day where they, you entered it and you could win it according to some of the videos I've seen. And when it first came out here, it was first the cotton candy, the jalapeno, and the poutine were the first three that were available in the stores. Um, and then they released the butter chicken, buffalo, and maybe I'm getting them on. There were three released first, and then they released the other two. And then been watching for the ghost pepper. And unfortunately, not only I had to order it online, so but it's got a sweetness. Definitely appeals to the kids. But yeah. Would I eat a whole lot of it again? Probably not. If it was served to me, yeah. But let's see here. So, I would give it for creativity out of five stars, maybe, maybe two, because Got the pink, got a bit of sweetness, not much for flavor, um, <clears throat> except for adding more of a sugary t texture to the KD. Taste in general, this business, since I like KD, I would say probably being KD having a, the five star as it is. This drops it down to about a three, three and a half. Um, doesn't change the texture or anything like that. Um, but so, yeah, well, move this one. So, not gonna make you sit here and watch me eat the whole thing. Should have grabbed another fork, but. Let's put the mouse fork, clean it off. <clears throat> so, again, so we're going to do a butter chicken. And again, like I said, I'm doing a full package on half a box. So the um, coloring, flavoring is a little stronger than what it normally would be. Oh, it's got a butter chicken smell. Nice. It's got, you can smell the spices in it the uh typical butter chicken spices now obviously this is locked in the chicken so it's not going to be chickeny but i'm sure it will have all the other flavors of the sauce and everything Get 
you can mix here. Wish you guys could smell this. It actually smells amazing. Like it smells like butter chicken. I know not everybody likes butter chicken. Butter chicken to me is very good. I have had bad butter chicken, but that goes with anything. You can have bad and good. Try to get this all mixed in. Not sure if the sound's coming across on here of me mixing it, but it's kind of a squish, squish, squish. <clears throat> okay, so this one's got more of the like, gravy ish looking uh, texture to it for the butter chicken. You shall taste. Again. Four full of powder. So let's try this again. That's really good. It's got. <clears throat> I can't place the, the spice on it right now. Um, where is it? I think I ripped it off. It's got uh, tomato powder. Chili pepper, spices, turmeric, and that. So it's the turmeric that's really being pronounced here. Um, I want to make sure I was thinking it was the right thing. But it's definitely got a nice uh, taste to it. If you don't like a lot of spice, it might not be for you. But again, like I said, this is double what it normally would be. It's really good. Definitely one I will enjoy in the future. But since these are limited time offer, you kind of get what you can when you can. I do have a few packages of each to try, uh, have as backups in case. Beautiful. So, glad I've got them. Mm. You really don't taste the, the KD taste. Like you, know, right here you get the texture of it, but not so much the cheese, the butter. Chicken is definitely something that's there. It's really strong. It's really good. Mm. I think you can tell I like this one. <clears throat> so, taste wise, I give it a five. Um, because it is a different taste than the KD itself. But it's very strong, like I said, because I've had it a full package. But it's very butter chicken. It's very prominent in what it says it is. Will I have it again? Definitely. Like I said, I've got a few more of them. Will I probably pick up some more if I go through them? Definitely. But, so there's, I've done the cotton candy. Eh, butter chicken, yay. So in the next uh, part of this video, coming up just in a minute, for you, you will see me doing the poutine and the buffalo wings. Because I'm not going to be eating six boxes of crazy in one sitting. I'm a little crazy sometimes with what I eat, but I'm not that crazy. So... Stay tuned for the next few seconds and you'll see the video continue. And thank you for continuing to watch. If you are watching or if you're just joining us, we're on the second segment of the Katie Flavor Boost video. Uh, in the previous video, I tried cotton candy and butter chicken. And to this time, I'm trying poutine and buffalo wings. So... Without any further ado, I will get into this. Don't need to make this video any longer than it should be. As for the last one, I made one box of KD, or Kraft Dinner, uh, depending on where you're from. And I added a full package of the flavoring, which I will do again. So this is the poutine. It's kind, of, kind of a sweet gravy kind of smell. It's kind of brownish. 
looking. Representing the gravy, I guess, but get this all mixed in. So if you are just one of the people who are just joining us at this segment of the video, as I said, I've done the previous two flavor brews of cotton candy and butter chicken, which were interesting to say the least. The cotton candy is a very sweet one. The butter chicken had butter chicken taste. It wasn't obviously the socket in the chicken and that, but it, you could taste where they were, what they were trying to do with it. Um, oops, losing some here. It, uh, cotton candy was a bright pink. The butter chicken was a bit of an orangey kind of butterish chicken looking color. Uh, this one's obviously going quite brown. The two other flavors I have to try in part three will be jalapeno and ghost pepper. And while I'm mixing this as well, just a reminder that we do have a contest going on, or contest going on and concluding uh, that for every 100 subscribers, once we get up to 100 or above, we'll win a prize of unknown um, at the moment. I will disclose that in an upcoming video when I choose, when I randomly choose the winners from the subscribers. So don't forget to subscribe, like, share, get your friends to subscribe. So, okay, so without further ado, this is the Poutine KD Flavor Boost. Okay, I'm still tasting the, the cheese mix, or artificial cheese if you want to call that, which I guess is intended with the poutine. It tastes a gravy flavoring. Obviously it's missing the potatoes for the fries. For those of you who don't know who, what poutine is, poutine is french fries with cheese curds and gravy on it. There's a lot of other versions. You can do pulled pork and stuff like that. But the traditional is just fries, cheese curds, and gravy originating out of Quebec, Canada. Uh, very tasty, very good uh, meal when done correctly. So it's actually not too bad. It's better than the cotton candy, that's for sure. I would say pretty much on par with the butter chicken. But I am a huge KD fan, have been for most of my life, and like I said, when poutine's done properly, it's uh, definitely worth traveling. If you ever get a chance to have true uh, poutine, try it. There's lots of places you can get it anymore. It's, it, you can get it pretty much from my understanding, more than just like Canada. A lot of places around the world have been copying it. But it's got to be done with the right cheese curds. Mm. This is actually very good. Mm. Mm. But <clears throat> I digress. I don't want to sit here eating half a bowl of, or half a container of Katie in front of you. But I don't need to. <clears throat> I'm going to move this one to the side and finish that up later. Now I'm going to go with the buffalo wings. Heard mixed reviews on these ones. We're about to give it a try. My jacket like said I'm doing a full package on half a box, so my flavoring is a little more intense than what some others have done. I'm smelling kind of the French red hot kind of smell and kind of a vinegar mix on this. <clears throat> so this one's a pastel orange looking color on the uh, powder. If you can see that there. I'll give that in. Oops, lost some of it. Got a good mix in. Definitely got. <clears throat> I almost want to say a, a paint smell to it. It's kind of what it reminds me of. Like. Uh, I have to say, an old can of paint. 
I don't know how the taste is going to be, but it could just be the dried ingredients for the sauce and that. Obviously, this one's not changing the color too much, making it a little more orange than the yellow of the original uh, cheese. I want to make sure this gets mixed in thoroughly. Don't want any more chunks like I did with the cotton candy. That was a little surprising and a little nasty, to be honest. I know this is not my usual video, except for the next part of it, the next segment, which will have the spice, but these are limited time uh, offered, available only in Canada. So I figured, since I'm Canadian, might as well do something Canadian. And since Canada is, well, with KD is beyond that of most other people, uh, other countries that have it, it just seemed right. Okay. So, here goes. Yeah, that, that smell's gone. It's more more of a vinegary buffalo smell now. Kind of like the buffalo sauce you'd get at, like, a sub shop or something like that, kind of, on your food. Got a bit of a, a bit of a kick, um, in the in that sense of buffalo wings kick does. Um, definitely tastes the vinegar, uh, which is odd to taste with KD. Um, <clears throat> I've put hot sauce on KD before, and not had quite this much of a vinegar type taste. Would I try it again? Probably. I'll put the cheese in some more of this, obviously. Out of the two of them, I'd say the poutine is the better. But I will give more of a try here. Okay, I'm going to just have a whole bunch of powder on that one. Because <clears throat> that was actually, that bite was actually not bad at all. It's growing on me. <laughs> um, wouldn't recommend this one for kids though it does have a bit of a, a kick to it if your kids don't mind buffalo wings and that sure um, the previous three the poutine the cotton candy especially the cotton candy for kids so sweet and <clears throat> the butter chicken again butter chicken tastes with kids it all depends no issues with it the buffalo wing and probably the jalapeno and the ghost pepper might be a little different, but mm. considering some of the hot sauces I put in with KD, this one actually doesn't mix too bad as being a powder mix. Again, not <clears throat> my favorite so far, but. It is what it is. It has cleaned up the sinuses a little bit. But yeah, so that's the second segment. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share, get everybody involved in the contest. Because who knows, it could be you that wins. Get uh, 10 friends involved, or 9 friends or whatever, you could be the one that it's drawn. So anyways, that's it for this segment, and we'll see you again on the next segment. And we're back for part three of the KD Flavor Boost portion. Today we've got the jalapeno and the ghost pepper. Of course, ghost pepper is going to be last. Got to, got to save the best, best to last. Now, if you see my video that I've done of the Cheetos uh, jalapeno, I used some green food coloring to enhance it. Uh, it's one of my earlier videos, but this one's going to be interesting to try. And as I've said in the other uh, parts, I am mixing one full package for half a box, so the potency is a little stronger. So, let's get into this. Oh, you can smell the jalapeno. It's actually got a nice smell to it. it. Looks like there might be some dehydrated bits of jalapeno in it. And let's get to mixing. Mixy, mixy, mix. 
This one's not changing the color to anything. Um, just kind of green flecking. It's flecking my KD. Um, you can smell the jalapeno, which I like. Jalapenos. They get all mixed in here. Now the the Cheetos one um, was actually chicken. Um, more of a straight jalapeno flavoring as opposed to I don't know. So you tasted more straight jalapenos. So this is going to be interesting to see how this compares. I think it's thoroughly mixed up here. So here it goes. I think I need to clean off the fork. <laughs> a little bit of the uh, powder, which is actually pretty good, but not recommended for straight on eating. Pretty good. It's definitely got a jalapeno taste. It's different than the other one. Um, compared to like the cotton candy, there's no real sugar boost in this one. The poutine had an interesting gravy taste. Butter chicken had the no, but it had sweetness to it as well. The buffalo wing was very vinegary, I guess you could say. Very reminiscent of Frank's Red Hot. This one's actually not too bad in the sense it tastes like KD with jalapenos in it. There's nothing off the wall strange in any sense of something you couldn't whip up at home by yourself. I guess the others you could too, like the buffalo wing and the poutine bag and gravy and that. But um, it's it's interesting. It's got a grittier taste than the others. Could just be the way it's mixed, I'm not, not sure. But it's definitely interesting. So powder on the fork. So I'm gonna put that one aside for now and we're gonna go into the ghost pepper. Now, as I've said before, this one is one that you can only get by mailing in and you get these wonderful boxes with four boxes of KD, four boxes of ghost powder, and a t-shirt that comes with it. Not the cheapest thing to buy, way to buy KD, but for those who want to try the ghost pepper. Yeah, it's, it's ghost pepper. But it's also Almost as if ghost pepper was sent through like a, like a cheesing process, like kind of like when you get mozzarella, or not mozzarella, uh, parmesan. It kind of has that aroma-ish te texture to it, and then the ghost pepper smell as well. So let's give this a nice mix. Get it all in there. Would have been nice if it had been actually been more of like a red dye or something added to it. I know the food coloring and certain foods and certain colored numbers and whatnot aren't supposed to be added anymore. Um, but when you got cotton candy, bright pink, then the others are just, hey, let's just add powder and flavoring. Kind of mixes things up a bit. It's got a bit of a brownish texture. I don't know if any you can see that from compared to the regular KD. Forgot to show you the, this one here, the jalapeno, but I'm sure you can see the flex in it. Pretty similar in this one, except more of a browner. Gonna get rid of the uh, jalapeno tasting out of my mouth and make sure I don't have any buildup of the powder on this one. Get that mixed in there.
very gritty by itself, as powders usually are. Okay, so here goes. Let's try some ghost pepper KD. Got the flavor. It, <clears throat> it's got some heat to it. I can see why they wouldn't sell this one on the short shelves. Because if any kid got hold of this, it would not be for them at all. Whew. <clears throat> it does have some nice heat. Mm. I've made spicy KD myself with some hot sauces and that. Roughly about the same when I come across on my own stuff. This definitely has the ghost pepper flavor to it though. But if you can get it, if you're in Canada and it's still available, I recommend trying it if you're interested. It's definitely good. <clears throat> Gotta hold off on that until I finish talking to you guys. But yeah, don't forget to subscribe, like, follow the usual social media stuff. The uh, contest is coming to an end, so we'll see what uh, happens with that. But I guess until then, enjoy the heat, stay spicy, and if you can, enjoy your KD. I will talk to you again later. Take care.